Today's money makeup lesson is less of a lesson in makeup and more of a lesson in the artistry. Basically, I needed a little bit of a pick-me-up and sometimes just putting some makeup on can just make you feel a little bit more normal. So I thought that I would share that process with you today. So even if you don't want to recreate this look and you want to create your own, we can kind of do our makeup together. But hopefully I have some tips and tricks along the way that you'll enjoy too. Oh, but before we get started, if you're new here to the Makeup Cheer channel and you enjoy tutorials like this or more lessons like this, then I suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you so much and welcome back. Now let's get started. I do have to point out that I turned the sharpness up all the way to the max on my camera by mistake. So yes, you are seeing every line and every pore on my face. It's like looking at your face through a magnifying mirror. In real life, it didn't look this harsh. It was much softer, unless you have like some sort of super enhanced eyesight, but hopefully you won't judge me too harshly. So firstly, I use a face primer. I'm just gonna let this kind of settle on the skin. And honestly, this face primer is so lovely. If you're looking to treat yourself to a new primer for your makeup kit or yourself, I highly recommend this. It's beautiful. So while that primer settles on the face, I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to apply an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. Now, I think I mentioned this before, but I love applying eyeshadow primer with a sponge. I just find that it creates a really even base. If you've tried it, then let me know if you agree. But I feel like my base is a lot smoother than when I use, say, my fingertips or a brush. So sponge all the way. So with the lid primed, I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to apply this medium dark shade from this palette, starting on the outer edge and then slowly blending it up and around the eye shape, just kind of following the natural curve of the eye. This palette is so glam. It's just so perfect. I think it's sold out at the moment, but hopefully it'll be back soon. It is like my dream palette. Now this look isn't about the step-by-step -step or the application. It's, it's more about the process. I just really enjoy creating looks like this where I just take my time. It's all about the slow blend. It's not about being careful or precise. It's just about blending and feeling comfortable. I think I focus so much on the correct application and placement, maybe a little bit too much on this channel, but sometimes it's just fun to put makeup on and it can be a definite pick me up. So we will be back to the lesson soon. I just want you to enjoy the process of blending and going slowly and just applying things that you really like to use. So the next product is another product that I love using and it is this creamy buttery pigment. I'm going to apply this on the outer half of my lid. And then once I kind of blended and smudged that in, I applied the darker shade over the top of this. Again, keeping that soft, simple blend. I just really liked the relaxing process. I wasn't trying to create a masterpiece. I was more like doing a little sketch. It was like no pressure. It's like doodling instead of painting. Now for my favorite part is that blush tone and oh my gosh, I love it so much. And when people see this palette, they go, but the blush tone, what would I do with that? I'm too scared to use it. But once I show them that it just creates the softest little fade using a blending brush just to go around the edges and create kind of this soft blur, they love it. And then when they come back to me, they always say, I can't create a makeup look without using a little bit of blush now, which just makes me so happy. So give it a try, honestly. A matte blush just around the eyes ever so slightly blended. You shouldn't be able to see it. It should just be kind of there, but not there. It creates a beautiful blur and I love it so much. For the next step, I'm going to apply the shimmer. Now this will kind of finish off the look, but I want the shimmer to be a little bit more intense and built up on that inner corner. So I'm applying a little bit of concealer. This is gonna grab the shimmer just in this area and then it's gonna sit on the rest of the lid. So it makes a little bit of a difference without you having to do too much work which is what this look is all about. And I love this shimmer. It's so perfect. It's like a sheer shimmer that does exactly what you want it to do. Beautiful. Next, I'm applying a thin line of black liner. I like to call this invisible liner because it basically just darkens the lash line. We're not winging it out or anything. And it basically just creates a thicker effect for the lashes. Now you can use a brown if you want a very soft look. I like to match it with a mascara. So if you're using a black mascara, then a black liner or a brown with a brown, but I love this mascara. This is by Charlotte Tilbury and 
Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Now I will be playing false lashes later. Wait till you see them because they're beautiful. But I feel like this makes such a difference to just my regular lashes, especially on the lower lashes. Now I won't be doing that until after I finish the face. So you'll just have to wait a little bit for that, but wait until you see it. It's beautiful. So we'll come back to the eyes at the end and I'm just gonna do the brows. I'm going to apply a sheer layer of liquid concealer around the brows before I fill them in with any product. Now my brows need tinting, but I'm holding off because my birthday's coming up. So I'm just gonna fill them in as normal, but I haven't done all my like glam maintenance stuff yet. I'm kind of waiting because I wanna do my tan and my brows and my hair and my nails and all that. Davey's actually hoping to take me away for my birthday because he thinks I need a break, but to be honest, I'd just, I just be happy to sit at home in my jammies and just play video games and eat pizza with him. But hopefully we'll get to go away as well. Okay, so the eyes are done and the brows are done and it's time for the rest of the face. So with the face, I like to start off by dealing with any pigmentation problems. So I'm gonna take a peach tone concealer. Instead of using a corrector, just a peach tone concealer works great for dealing with any darkness underneath the eyes and give it kind of like a slightly brighter lifted tone. So I'm just gonna apply that underneath my eyes to kind of brighten them. And then next I'm going to apply some foundation using a damp sponge. You know how mixing foundation and water has become really popular on TikTok because of the effect? Well, a damp sponge pretty much does the same thing without all the hassle of like adding it to water and mixing it. It's just, it seems very messy when a damp sponge basically does the same thing. Now this foundation is dark on my face, but it matches the fake tan on my neck. I'm going to brighten and highlight my face using a lighter concealer next. And really, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun and add some dimension. I like kind of playing around with the shape and kind of lifting the eyes and lifting the mouth and, you know, just adding bits and pieces here. It's just really fun. Sometimes you just got to have fun with your makeup. I'm also applying a darker shade of concealer to sculpt the face. And because I'm using the sponge that I apply my foundation with to kind of blend it out, we'll get a much softer effect because it's kind of mixing on the sponge. So I just, I, I really like that effect of like keeping the sponge going the whole time. I'm gonna move on to powders. And while I was at the beauty show, I picked up a fresh contour palette because I hit pan and I also it hit the floor because it fell down the stairs. But we won't talk about that, but I finally got a new one. Thank you, Blank Canvas. You were too kind to me. I love this palette so much. It's my favorite thing, but I just used the light and the dark to kind of set everything in place. I mixed the blush from that palette and the blush from the eyeshadow palette together and applied this on my cheeks. And I also added a little bit of the shimmer as well, just to add a little bit of glow. I'm gonna take a short break and I will be right back to finish off this look. Okay, we are back to finish off the eyes. I'm gonna take that creamy product and just apply this on the lower middle part underneath the eye. So just right in the center and then I'm gonna sweep it up and then in. And this will create more of an awake look, which is definitely what I need at the moment. With the eyes finished, I can now apply some mascara on those lower lashes. And oh, I love this. You know, I never used to apply so much mascara under my eyes, but I feel like it adds so much glam. As long as it's balanced with the upper lashes, which I'm going to apply lashes next. Wait until you see them beautiful. But I feel like this will add that nice balance. And I just love how this mascara sits on the lower lashes. So my usual routine is to apply lip balm and then do my lashes so the lip balm can kind of settle on my lips. And just, I just, I have to just tell you, okay, TikTok made me buy this and I used it expecting amazing results. And I feel like I'm the only one who got really bad results from this. Not really bad, it, it does work, but I'm just really disappointed because everybody was like, their lips were massive and it's so cheap. And honestly, it works just as good as the really expensive ones, I will say, but like, I'm not getting the results that everybody else gets. Anyway, sorry for my rant. Let's move on to these lashes because these will cheer me up. These lashes are by Baby Doll and they are so beautiful. And the people who work there are so lovely. Seriously, go and, go and give them a look. Go over to the website. I think they have a sale on at the moment. They're just really lovely people and the lashes are beautiful. Now for the lips, I finally found my favorite shade, Cappuccino by Rimmel. It's so hard to find and I finally found it and I literally did like a little happy dance when I found this. I'm sure people were like, who gets that excited about lip liners? Me. And I just paired that with Pillow Talk. I feel like the Pillow Talk lip liner is great, but I feel like it works really well with Cappuccino. I like this combo a little bit better. 
Then I finished with setting spray, built up a little bit more of that shimmer on the eyes, and I also noticed that my brows were looking a little bit washed out, so I filled them in just a little bit as well. And then that is the finished look. Now I wanted to share something with you that I caught on camera. If you get triggered by people fainting, then don't watch this. But I wanted to share what chronic illness looks like sometimes. So if you watch my eyes carefully, you can see that I started to feel faint and then I'm trying to fight it. But there she goes. But the show must go on and I really needed to finish off this video and I was only going to start to feel worse. So I faked a smile and here I am faking a smile and I am squeezing my other hand so tight because I'm fighting how bad I am feeling in this moment. But this is what chronic illness looks like, especially when you've had it your whole life. You've become kind of a pro at faking a smile, but it's so exhausting and it's so difficult. But this is why I always say to be kind to yourself and be kind to others because we're all just trying our best and trying to, you know, handle things in the best way that we can possibly handle them and so i'm sending love to anybody who needs it and hopefully this makes you feel less alone and if you created this look or one of your own i would love to see it i hope that you enjoyed listening or watching this have a wonderful day thank you for watching my friends and i'll see you soon